Hey guys, I'm here from AndroidRoots.com and today we're taking a look at my UI ROM for your Galaxy S4 GTI 9 505 LTE International, T-Mobile, AT&T, and of course your Canadian variants. Uh, Sprint and Verizon users, this one you guys are left out on, and International i9 500, this will not work with your Galaxy S4. Um, but let's go ahead and get started by uh, showing you the lock screen. Um, so here's your lock screen by default. Um, you have camera. Uh, phone call, messaging, and a unlock. Uh, one cool feature about this is if you hold the home button, you actually get a nice flashlight. So let me go and turn it around real quick, and boom, you have a nice flashlight right there. So that's a nice touch, and here's the front of it if you want to know what it looks like. Um, so that's nice. So let's go and unlock it by swiping down. And here it is. Um, you really can't tell that it's running on Android. To be honest, if someone showed this to me and I had no idea what my UI was, um, I did actually just learned about it about a year ago, a little bit over a year ago. And if I never saw it, and I saw it on a you know unbranded phone and all that, I would have not known that it's running on Android, as there is no app drawer, and you have a similar thing to iPhone as you have a search bar, where you can search for anything. You can search for music, an application, you can search the web, market, or an application, very easily to do. Um, so it has the same functionality as the Spotlight for the iPhone feature and on um, the Mac OS X and all that too. Um, and if you guys are wondering what the main feature of this ROM is, it's all about themes for this one. 100% themes, no other ROM can compete with my UI for themes and that's why you really want to get this. Uh, and let me just show you this theme, all the icons are changed. As you can see there's no uh, app drawer like I mentioned earlier, all your apps are shown on your home screen just like iPhone. All your, you know, even in the um, pages or the folders, it's all changed up. There you go. Um, let me go into settings and show you that even. Whoa, there we go. So this is actually settings. So you have two tabs, quick settings and all settings. Um, and even if we go into about phone, you can't tell it's running on Android as the whole UI is completely changed. So let's go into about phone. And here is where my UI device, model number, Android, all that great stuff in CPU, RAM, you know, even the specifics that usually don't go with about phone. Um, so that's really nice and you can tell it's running on Android and that's the cool part about this. It completely redesigns everything from the ground up, the whole functionality, the look, the interface, it's all changed. And let's say maybe a week or even a month down the road you get bored of this theme. You can actually get hundreds more themes from their um, My UI and Market, I guess you could say. Um, so in this Themes app section right here, you can actually go uh, select the online tab and you can actually get hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of themes for your Nexus 4 and other My UI supported devices. Um, so it just keeps going. Now it's going to be a little bit slow. I believe the servers are from China. I can't be sure because once I do download even one uh, theme, it does take a little bit of time to download. So it's not going to be your fastest download, but it's not a big deal at the end of the day. Um, and if you guys are wondering uh, how to properly use this theme, um, just make sure you guys are have an account with them. If not, just register for free you know, within the app. You can do that. And some of these themes do cost a little bit of money. Um, it's like some type of token type thing. I haven't really looked into it. So it says 3MI, um, my UI, I'm assuming credits. So it doesn't sound like that much and it's probably not dollars. So you can just probably buy credits from them and get it. Um, but as you can see, this is a Chinese ROM, but everything is in English, so that's a great plus. And um, let me go and show you some themes I downloaded. So I'll show you this one, and let me go and apply it. And it's applying, no reboot required, uh, instantly it's on here, um, no problems whatsoever. Um, so as you can see, everything is changed, icons, wallpaper, widget is all changed. So there you go, so all, everything's changed, and even some themes have applied to the lock screen as well. So let me show you that. So here's your lock screen, it looks completely different than your stock My UI lock screen. So here's your messaging, or phone call, I'm sorry, messaging. And to completely unlock it, you just swipe down from here, and swipe down. Boom. Very, very cool to do, and just completely changes it, even with a theme. And I guess it's not even considered a theme as it completely changes the lock screen widgets and everything like that. So here's a Windows 8 type of theme. So let's, I'll show you that one too. And it's more of a blue theme. So that, that one looks pretty nice. I would actually, you know, <laughs> it matches with my Android guy too. <laughs> um, so you have your wallpaper, all the icons are blue. And, you know, even all of them are squared out. Even if all of them are in blue, they actually square, it's squared out. So that's nice. Um, and I'll show you the lock screen. 
Um, I don't think it's changed. I just think the color, yeah, the color is just changed. So you have the same functionality and you still have that flashlight. So that's nice. Let me go unlock it. And that's what I really want to show you guys is the themes. If you are a fan of themes and just completely redesign everything, then my UI is a perfect ROM for you guys. You know, you got to trust me on this. Everyone has to try this at least once. Um, this is, you know, it's just a crazy ROM as you can just change everything, even the settings, all the apps are themed, everything is completely themed. So it's overall, it's great. Um, you also have some custom applications like music. Um, it's not going to be Google Play Music. It's actually, um, I believe it's theirs or it's like a Sony music player. I can't be positive, but I just know it's not the stock Samsung player or um, Play Music. Um, let's go and take a look at the camera. So you do get, okay, so now you also get the camera and everything does work. Um, everything working, um, there are a couple of things the developer is still working on, like IR Blaster and a couple other things. But overall, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, data, display, speakers, microphone, all that great stuff is working. So this ROM can definitely be used as a daily driver for your Galaxy S4, GTI 9505, LTE, T-Mobile, AT&T, and Canadian variants. Um, I have a link down below so you can actually download this ROM, and I'll have a little bit more details on this ROM as well. Um, but that's what I really want to show you guys. If you did enjoy this video, be sure to subscribe and like this video in the bottom left hand corner as it has really helped me out a lot and we'll be seeing more of these ROM reviews for your Galaxy S4 and many other flagship Android devices for you. Um, that's about it guys. Thanks for watching and don't forget to follow me, like me and add me on Twitter, Facebook and Google+. Everything's down below including the link to the ROM. Thanks for watching guys. Peace.